Question number five. I'm going to cross multiply, and when we do, look what happens. The uh, 2x minus 4 is going to come up here and multiply the 6x plus 7. The 4x minus 1 is going to come up here and multiply the 3x plus 8, giving us this. I'm going to do the FOIL thing. 2x times 6x is 12x squared. 2x times 7 is 14x. Negative 4 times 6x is negative 24x. Negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. 4x times 3x is 3x squared. 4x times 8 is 32x. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x, and negative 1 times times 8 is negative 8. So if I subtract 12x squared from the left-hand side, I also have to subtract it from the right-hand side. That leaves me with, I'm going to add the 14x to the negative 24x. That gives me negative 10x minus 28 is equal to 32x minus 3x is 29x minus 8. I have more x's on the right-hand side. I want to get rid of this negative 10x. So I'm going to add 10x to both sides. I also want to get rid of this negative 8. So I'm going to add 8 to here. But if I add 8 to this side, I have to add 8 to the other side as well. That gives us negative 20 is equal to 39x. I want to get the x all alone. The 39 is multiplying it. So I'm going to divide both sides by 39. That gives me negative 20 over 39 is x. The restrictions, 4x minus 1 can't be 0. That means that x can't be a quarter. 4 times a quarter is 1, take away 1 is 0. x can't be a quarter is one of the restrictions. And over here, 2x minus 4 can't be 0. So 2x can't be 4. And then divide both sides by 2, x can't be 2. x can't be a quarter and x can't be 2 are the restrictions. And that's it for question number 5. Have a good day.